segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog, yes. It is 10 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Thursday, October 20th, 2016. And there's been another gap in the vlogs again. Well, at least it's not a year-long gap or a six-month-long gap the way it's happened before every time this year. Uh, there, there's so much to get done at this particular period of, period of time that it's hard to sort of uh, keep vlogging on a daily basis, so there are often breaks in between. I've been catching up on my editing, catching up on my uploading, and in just about 20 minutes, I'm heading back up to Mars Alpha again because I'm opening up another, a second office up there. <laughs> right, I'm going up north to uh, the village of Prophet Elias. That's where the uh, uh, my trailer is. That's where Mars Alpha is. The trailer is Mars Alpha. That's my second research office. I'm going up there. Uh, to, 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 I'm continuing. The, this is my thing, my third trip up there to do more fixing up, to do more moving in. Uh, there's an enormous, uh, you know, you don't necessarily realize until you start moving uh, your stuff uh, and particularly getting extra stuff uh, up to a second place uh, that you realize how much there is in terms of moving. And it does take time over. It, it takes a couple of months to get properly moved in. So I'm going to be fixing up and moving in for about a year. It's going to take me about a year to do all the proper fixing up and getting everything just right and, and you know, getting everything situated the way it needs to be done. And uh, it's going to take some time, So, but I think that's what's happening now. But I said, it adds to the schedule. It adds, you know, it adds a, a, a sort of a, another task to the schedule that sort of is time consuming. And you kind of wonder from day to day how you're going to get everything done. And my solution is in many cases that uh, some things like my hair and look and a lot of a lot of YouTubers, <laughs> you know, they're careful about how they vlog. Oh, when they get, you know, uh, you're seeing only the good parts of the vloggers. You know, I don't want to bring people down. This is sort of Shay's thing is about vlogging, just the good stuff and, you know, not getting everything in there, and it's yeah, it's entertaining to a certain degree. If, you know, I, I certainly watch the shade tires, I watch uh, Bertelli, but some vloggers will share more, others will share less. My particular view here is that this is a scientific vlog. We're looking at behind the scenes of scientists, so it's going to be unedited and raw. Not so, in many cases. If I've been doing a lot of work, it's been like one continuous day, and I've only been taking uh, uh, five, six hour breaks to sleep, you know, just take sort of naps and stuff like that, rather than actually have a proper sleep, then I'm going to look like this because I haven't taken a break uh, for days on end. Uh, and this is this, I've been like this since I got back. Um, I got back on uh, Friday. Right on, right after Friday, uh, when I right after I got back, I went food shopping. Then I went to a baptism on on Saturday. That took a little day long, but I, my body was so fatigued, I, I I couldn't eat much of anything. Well, I could eat, but it didn't sell well, and I got sick. So once again, I was out. I got sick again. Uh, never seems to fail, and. Then Sunday was church, but then we had we had um, uh, lunch afterwards, and uh, Monday was kind of somewhat of relaxing. That's when I started packing again for up north. I started collecting the new next set of materials that have to go up. 
uh, I work. I'm working on the water system up there. The the not only working on the water system for my trailer, but I'm working on the water system for the whole uh, village. I'm doing design for the water system. So uh, I'm doing the first part now, and it'll take me another couple trips up. Uh, and I'll probably won't finish until sometime in July, doing an upgrade to the water system that will make things a lot more efficient, a lot, uh, a lot easier to sort of switch things over between uh, summer and winter. Because, you know, normally we think, you know, oh yeah, uh, here, there's no problem with switching all the water supply. We don't think about, well, what happens when it gets too cold because we have a continuous water supply. But uh, if you're out beyond a certain area in the world or, 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 or outside the city, basically, and you're not hooked up to a main city system, you know, a the a, 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 a um, sewage and water system uh, that has been designed so that it can run 24/7, seven days a week, you know, 24 yeah, well, seven days a week, 24/7, uh, all year round. Uh, there is an issue to winter when you're trying to run water if it's below the point of freezing, when you want, what, below the point that water freezes at. There's an issue there in how you keep that water flowing. How do you keep the pipes from bursting? Uh, these are all particular issues that when you get into a smaller village type of situation, it's not there done for you. You have to sit down and design the stuff. You have to look into uh, how it's actually done. What are the mechanisms there? Where are the traps? Where are the uh, sort of uh, things that could, could go wrong? Uh, these are the issues that kind of pop up and have to be dealt with. Uh, and so this is sort of what I began working on uh, this week. I, I was, did a lot of that on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I went and picked up uh, a lot more, uh, another uh, whole bunch of equipment. The same thing on uh, Wednesday. I did the same thing uh, yesterday. I did a lot, a lot of uh, uh, equipment picking up, doing sort of organizing my tools, the tools that I need to bring up to do the work. Uh, so these all these things had to be done. At the same time, I got a lot of the editing done uh, for uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. A lot of that, mo a lot of that editing work has been done more. Uh, another, another, I'm trying to clear that backlog on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. So I'm trying to clear the uh, backlog on the vlogs. Trying to clear the backlog on a number of the different shows that are, are sort of uh, stuck in the editing bay and really haven't sort of moved around because the editing bay needs some. Uh, and I have two editing bays, and that's part, part of it. Uh, the editing bay hasn't been properly fixed up. It hasn't been uh, organized enough yet to be more efficient. In other words, every time I get something like, hey, I move, yeah, I move into a, a new situation where I have two editing bays now. But the editing bays have to be organized into a single system so they operate efficient, so I can get more work done. But as that done, as I said, as that that chain moves forward, like in the, in, in terms of a football analogy, if the, as that chain as, as the chains move forward. And you gain yardage. Um, there are always setbacks, and you have to start thinking about the next play automatically. In other words, there isn't really a break in between things. So that's kind of where we are now, and uh, I think I've got a few more minutes. <laughs> I should be leaving around eleven o'clock. This is about fifteen minutes from now. So I think I'll see where we are from now. From uh, where we end up going from here. Uh, so if it's 11, 11.30, that's not bad. I'll get up there around uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, get some work done. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what we can get done tonight and tomorrow. So, And then we'll have, see what happens on Saturday. <laughs> Anyways, that's kind of the way things are. So this is a science vlog. It's not going to be uh, very pretty. It, 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 it really is, in many cases, trotting along. And you'll see, month by month, that there will be improvements. There will be upgrades. And uh, that's the way it's been. And, and I think I'm not going to be doing the daily vlogs, the, the typical way of doing the daily vlogs. I was sort of trying to do it uh, morning to evening, but that's not working out. Uh, because I don't live a morning to evening day. My days often go on for more than one day. Uh, I just taking breaks in between, so uh, that's the way things go. 
Anyways, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory. I'll beat the vlog. All right. See you then. Well, I suppose now is as good a time as any to vlog, and obviously I, I've made it. I'm here at Mars Alpha. I'm here at my new uh, trailer. So let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 18 hours and 23 minutes into the day of Thursday, October 20th, 2016. Yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> These days are long days. and I, said, I, I, I was sitting down thinking about the daily vlogging, and I try to do daily vlogging. But the reality is, is that the way the situation works out up here, for well, for my life anyways, is that the days, there is no real stop and end to the day. So, in many cases, you know, I'll have, uh, you know, a day that continues on even uh, into the next day uh, as the project continues forward. And this is sort of certainly no exception here. I got some of the, the my uh, my vlogs out. I got the news channel going again. I, there's a number of things that that, are, that have to be done on a regular basis that um, that pushes the envelope in terms of what I can do do on a daily basis. In other words, I have to fit uh, uh, all the work that I need to get done has to be fit, fit, fit in a day. Sometimes I get it done. Sometimes I don't get it done. And that pushes the daily cycle, the what has to be done for the next day, over sometimes. Well, not sometimes, more often than not. And so, uh, on a typical basis, uh, I say uh, most days are two, three day long. They, they, they go for two, three days before they sort of somewhat settle in. Like I just got, I'm, and now I'm sort of unpacking. Uh, I, I, this is my third trip up here, uh, and it did take it did take me a while to sort of get things acclimated. And it's raining outside now, so I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow for the uh, the sewage system. So that's what I have to do. I have to do the installation for that. Uh, the water, the work I have to do on the water system is on is inside, so that's not particularly an issue. So uh, I think bit by bit the things will get done, just the order that they're going to get done in will probably vary so anyways uh, I think I'm gonna leave this short here for now because I'm up here I'll maybe give you a tour later on uh, tonight so I'll probably get some I'll probably go to bed around 7 just to get some you know 7 o'clock in the evening just to get some rest uh, if I go to bed 7 it's 5 hours later that'll be midnight I'll probably be up around midnight 1 o'clock in the morning to do another chunk of work that's kind of how things go is like, like 4 or 5 hours and up, do some more stuff, and then go back to bed again, and uh, that's kind of how things end up end up working out. So there's not a it's a, it, there's not a real sort of single day. Uh, I found there's a leak in here, so uh, I've been I'm starting to patch that up. I've got uh, the uh, caulking, and uh, I'm using an, an acrylic uh, uh, latex. It's a very quick setting, so hopefully I'll get that resolved. Uh, either tonight or t uh, some sometime tomorrow, but you know this this is something I'm gonna have to work on so to see uh, how things end up working out. So uh, the next step, uh, once I've got uh, get myself organized tonight, will be to sit down and work on the ore research project and bring it into here, get things more aligned properly. Uh, I have to do some work on my computer to sort of bring uh, the portal the portal uh, office. That's on the laptop here, uh, up to speed. Uh, the tablet's already up to speed. The same thing with the uh, my phone, but now I have to bring this laptop, and I have a se second netbook here. Uh, it's this tiny little thing. I'll show you right here. It is. Yeah, it's an Asus uh, triple triple E uh, netbook. This is how small it is. A ten inch screen. Uh, I got full. I got. I got. I got uh, the full desktop Linux on it. So I've got the Kubuntu on there. So uh, that's going to be the system I use to do a lot of design. And uh, Linux work is going to be on there. So now I have a system to actually do programming with. I don't ha I, I'm not going to... My issue was I didn't want to work on a, criti on, a, on a system that was mission critical. This is a spare machine now. So I'm doing a lot of my development work on that. 
I do have a couple of other tablets and now I can work on to do uh, Android development as well. So, uh, bit by bit, I'll sort of get things organized and start the expansion uh, for this year. Anyways, uh, I will see you probably midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Alright, so see you then. Well, I'm finally up, and uh, this is definitely the next segment of a BTS blog. I had a pretty good sleep, so it is the morning. So it is uh, nine hours and nine minutes into the day of Friday, October 21st, 2016. Um, yeah, <laughs> the, the furnace does a good job at keeping the place nice and warm. Uh... Well, listen, for me, it's what I, what I consider. I like my temperatures to be around 68, between 65 and 68 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That's what I consider to be comfortable. It's good sleeping weather, good sleeping temperature. And so, I guess I was uh, more tired than expected. And rather than getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning and uh, doing, anything more, uh, doing anything more, I just simply... Stayed sleeping till uh, just about now, so it's been about. I went to bed at eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock in the morning now, so <coughs> uh, it was a thirteen hour sleep. So <laughs> it's yay for that. Um, it, 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 it it's not. You know, what? I enjoy the sleep when I get it. That's because that's that's my vacation. That's how I get, take my time off. It's by sleeping. Uh, so sometimes. Uh, uh, I I do enjoy the sleep, it, it, particularly when I've got enough work done. I was able to stop the leak last night. Um, there's a leak in the trailer here, and so uh, I was able to stop it. Uh, I got it cocked. Uh, I'm going to do a second coat today to make sure that it stays waterproof. Uh, but that's, you know, is it, anytime you, you get something new, even it doesn't matter how, how, how new or what, how old it is, uh, there's always repair work to be done. There's always issues popping up. Uh, nothing ever uh, is perfect and trouble-free. So, you know, as long as uh, these things, issues were minor, it wasn't anything bad. So I've got to, you know, work on a little bit of a cleanup today. Uh, I still have the uh, uh, water work to do in the main cabin. It's uh, next to me. I'll sort of maybe give you a little tour today. Of the area, of the little village, the uh, village of Prophet Elias. I'll give you a little tour of that. Um, it's uh, uh, it's good up here. It was happening now. And this is where the goal is next: is sort of make sure that um, even though the transport back and forth, the travel back and forth, is a bit of a jaunt. Uh, <clears throat> I want to make sure that the progress or, or in the the efficiency that I have in Toronto is up here, and when I and when I go back to Toronto from up here, uh, uh, it stays the same as well. In other words, I want to have a consistency in the workflow. Uh, that's based on my studying. Uh, then I do in Toronto up here, and I want to have the same thing. Uh, what I have up here, I want to have in Toronto. In other words. They need to be flowing back and forth, and they, there can't be sort of gaps in the work. Um, I tried that this year. This year uh, worked pretty well. I d did have some gaps, but it was simply due to the load of work that had to be done. Uh, so that caused uh, a bit of a, a backlog, and uh, well, I'm getting I'm getting through it. Uh, I still have things to bring up. Uh, I have to bring up clothes up here. I think I put most of the kitchen stuff is up here now. Uh, I have to bring up clothes. And then uh, I've decided I'm probably going to keep the furnace on all year round. It's going to run this uh, the, the trailer year round. Uh, so uh, I'm going to see how to get that done uh, in terms of uh, making sure I can get up here uh, at least once a month to check the pain and uh, make sure that everything's working all right uh, and if that's uh, if, if, if as long as that can get done then I'll be uh, okay and what I got to do now is uh, I bought something up here uh, the, the camera I noticed, noticed that the, the, the battery for the camera is starting to go uh, and this is close enough right now actually it's so close enough that I can actually run it off of a power bar but 
Uh, I haven't plugged the uh, cord in yet. To uh, uh, I got one, I got a nice six foot cord that uh, will reach from the uh, power bar to here, and that will give me enough power to run everything. Assuming that I've got a free cord, a free plug. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. Uh, I will get back to you uh, uh, probably in a couple hours when I get things sort of more or less started. Uh, well, later into the day, so uh, <laughs> that will be the case. <laughs> Distractions, right? Alright, I'll see you in uh, a couple hours. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. It's a little blurry. There we go. For some reason I have a hard time focusing. Let me get this situated better here. Here we go. I think it has to do with the light in the background. Maybe that's causing the problem. Uh, anyways, uh, let's continue on. It is time of date stamp, uh, 23 hours and 7 minutes into the day of Friday, October 21st, 2016. Yeah, it's uh, been a very long day. To say the least. Uh, <laughs> um, I did a lot of work. I got the, I got the, a, a large chunk of the water system done on the, ins, on the, uh, in the main cabin. I have ran into a sl slight problem. You would think that when a store sells a product, they would know that the product is good or bad, but uh, I guess sometimes they don't. Uh, one of the products I got is a um, is a sort of connector for the hose. It's the um, and that you screw on the you know, uh, the. Uh, it's not necessarily female, but it is. It's the end that sort of has the coupling on there, that that goes. Oh, here's the here's the faucet, and you go onto the faucet like this. Gives you sort of sort of an explanation there. That's it. It's not specifically a female end, but because uh, you don't necessarily go into it, but uh, that's the way a jack works. So, you know, you have a jack. Is uh, the there's a male and female. The female the, the male goes into the female. That's kind of how a lot of these electronics and these uh, different uh, uh, connectors work. Uh, in this case here, uh, this is the screw-on part. Uh, the problem is, is that the gasket that uh, sort of prevents the water from squirting out the back of the hose uh, doesn't work, and a lot of water comes out. So you have a leaky system, and so I've got to sit down and try to repair the leaky system because of the the faulty uh, the uh, faulty plug, the faulty uh, the uh, 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 plugs. So that's the issue there, and it took me longer to get done than I anticipated, and so that kind of caused a bit of a problem. So, but anyways, uh, the uh, onwards and upwards uh, that was done. Uh, I was able to film uh, another uh, INN broadcast of the for Tweetline Pro, for Tweetline Plus. I got that done. I have the next series of Tweetline Plus uh, for the week lined up. So I should be able to do those when I get back to Toronto tomorrow. I'll be leaving tomorrow around 11, 12. Uh, that's the, uh, intended, uh, the intended the uh, time for departure. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, the more tired I get, the harder it is to speak. And a good, I said a good amount of work got done. I got most of the caulking done. I'm gonna finish the uh, some some of the, uh, the the window now, and then I'll deal with uh, the remainder of the issues uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, that's the goal. The goal is to sort of hopefully finish up by tomorrow morning, and then start uh, on a new project. Well, head home and start on new projects, or uh, that will be up here. Uh, when I get back, and I'm coming back up on November 10th and 11th, around that, that time frame there, I'll be up here again. So, uh, the goal is to, oh, as soon as I get back, is to begin planning for the next trip up and getting things organized. 
Uh, that's what it usually takes to do. It doesn't, because I can't get things done all at once. I have to sort of schedule things in. And I do have to plan a couple days ahead, well, even sometimes a couple weeks ahead of time. And do the things, get the jobs done, the sort of the different tasks done uh, bit by bit rather than doing them all at once. So uh, that's kind of the way I get things done. And it does work efficiently. And as I got the INN working, I'll be working on or the OR TV and uh, OR TV, the Bass TV, and Kawhi T House TV. Uh, I got my games on here. I got all the. Uh, it's gonna show my games. It's gonna be my cooking. I've got my uh, uh, my tablet. Here's my tablet here with the Kawhi T House TV. Kawhi T uh, the Kawhi T House. So uh, that will be my geeky side. Will be coming out on there. Uh, I have a, a show like uh, so something like an Oprah type of show uh, that will be coming out uh, called IMO Vlogs, and uh, it's going to look at issues like that, that Oprah would deal with and go into them in a more uh, in-depth manner and sort of introduce uh, new things to basically the beauty 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 guru community because I have the show uh, that we bring back called Beauty and the Geek be working on that as well so there's a lot to get done a lot to work a lot to work on and um, let's see where everything goes <laughs> the whole thing it has to do with scheduling if I can get the schedules done make my work more efficient then it's not gonna be a problem but if I can't do that then I'm gonna have a bit of a bit of a problem so anyways I'm gonna leave this here for now I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog all right take it easy Democratic Earth. Earth.